We really do believe in the possibilities of the green economy. This is not something that we should fall, fall away from or shirk away from. This is the best way to grow our economy in Illinois. The jobs in the green economy, they don't get exported to another country. By definition, they're in our own backyard. They involve things that can save money for everyday people and save money for our businesses and make our businesses more competitive. Uh, they can save money also by making sure that we have good jobs for the people of Illinois. Green jobs are good paying jobs. They're jobs that help find technologies that make us more efficient. They're jobs that involve putting up solar collectors or wind turbines. I last week was at the University of Illinois at Chicago and we signed a law that commits our state within a short period of time, 26, 2015 I think it is, uh, they have 6% of all of our energy coming from solar sources, solar. Illinois has more usable sunlight than places like Los Angeles or Atlanta, Georgia. You would think they would be in the Sun Belt. They are sunny, aren't they? Well, they have more smog, they have more clouds. We have usable sunlight and we can use that in a positive way to heat hot water. Solar is great for that. Been over in Berwyn, Illinois. The world's largest laundromat is located in Berwyn, Illinois. So if you go there, <laughs> check it out. And the owner of that laundromat, Tom Benson, he got tired of paying high natural gas bills. So he decided to convert the entire system to solar heated hot water. And I went on the roof of, of his laundromat where you see an ocean of washing machines and, he, and dryers. We were up there on a hot August day. Uh, today's pretty cool, but it was pretty hot when we were up there. And he had all those solar collectors put on by uh, very skilled craftsmen who know how to do it and do it right. And uh, he's already uh, saved his entire investment in the solar collectors by his savings in natural gas. And so I think that's just one anecdote because when we were there that day, there was somebody from Governor State University who heard about our activities. And um, she suggested that when Governor State University needed to heat their swimming pool and their uh, showers for their new gym or whatever, uh, that they use uh, solar to heat the hot water. And so that's exactly what went on. Uh, they did that, they made that conversion because somebody learned about what someone else is doing. So and I really hope today that everybody goes home with at least one new good idea, hopefully lots of good ideas that you can implement at your campus. And as President Hogan said, it is so important that we really implement this at places of learning. Because our students, when they go out into the world, they're gonna take that uh, learning and knowledge that they've uh, obtained at, at a school and apply it in real life and pass the word along. It's so important to do that. So I'm very, very happy that our uh, gathering today does talk about curriculum. Some of our universities, I think Illinois State University has a whole major in sustainability. And we have to really embrace that. And we have to understand also that to pull these uh, great projects together, to make them happen in reality, we do have to finance them. You can't have capitalism without capital. We have to invest in the green economy. I used to be the state treasurer of Illinois, put a lot of deposits of the people's money into financial institutions, and we would work with those institutions so they would lend money to businesses, particularly wanting to do sustainable things. President Hogan talked about recycling. One of the best ways to recycle is to save old buildings and convert them to new uses. And oftentimes that's a great way of saving energy and reducing emissions. Very, very important. But part of this whole mission of investing is what students have done. Right here at this university, I was so inspired, uh, I guess it was half a dozen years ago, but students on their own put a referendum on the campus ballot for uh, all the students to vote on, whether they would want to have a modest fee uh, very modest, in three, three or four bucks, uh, that they would pay every year, and the proceeds of that uh, referendum and the uh, fees that would be collected if it was approved would be used to invest in sustainability, in energy conservation, in renewable energy, and in uh, water conservation as well. So I just see our universities, our community colleges as indispensable 
in a movement of a lifetime. This is the grassroots movement that we can show the world that the United States of America, led by the state of Illinois, in the heartland, the land of Lincoln, knows how to do green better than anybody, and we're going to make the will of people the law of the land. Thank you very much. <clears throat>